Good morning, everyone. I have a box. Gotta go fast. Big thanks to Eric, who watched my previous video trying to fix the air suspension on my Buick Park Avenue and sent me this box, which contains a brand new, never used air pump to hopefully get some level back in our life. Our opening utensil of the day is a screwdriver because I forgot my knife and I have no idea where this, oh. <laughs> Just throw my screwdriver like that? Listen, it can handle it. <laughs> Lifetime warranty, icon. Yeah. Man, that thing is packaged. It's it's mummified in tape. I have a torch. I don't see why everyone doesn't just do that. Hey, wow, I am smart. Didn't even stab the box multiple times. There you go. Ooh. Oh, that is shiny. This is all hidden behind a cover up under the car, so I actually had no idea what this looks like. Let's get the car up in the air and figure out where this goes. I'm pretty sure we've got to drop uh, one side of the exhaust and then it's just like four bolts and a cover and out it comes. Oh, look at this, it's soft mounted. I saw that, it looks nice. Nice. All right, let's get to work. All right, so if we look up here underneath the world's most disgusting Buick, there was a really nasty storm last night and the tree that this was sitting under just dumped everywhere. Looks like that is the pump up under this cover. You can kind of see the wiring just right there. So looks like we'll have to undo uh, my least favorite thing. Oh, it unbolts. Ooh, the mount unbolts. They did a BMW. How nice of them. So we unbolt that mount, probably that one too. Use a trans jack to support the exhaust and just kind of let it dangle a little bit. And then we can get to, looks like one bolt there, probably holding the cover on. Oh, this should be a breeze. Watch it be the line is bad as well. <laughs> oh well. He doesn't know it, but I'm using this golden ratchet. Well, this is pretty much the most straightforward thing ever. There is a airline that has to come off, same as all the other airlines. There is an electrical connector that comes off just with a very easy uh, to undo connection there. You got one, two, there's a third one somewhere. This is what you're left with. <sighs> uh, shield comes off with a bunch of eight mils and there's some more eight mils holding the actual pump to the bracket. So off it goes and we're left with this bracket onto which we can put our new pump. So that just goes on there like that. Bunch of eight mils, hold it down. And uh, installation is uh, really the reverse of removal. There do appear to be a couple minor differences between these two pumps, but not really anything that'll cause any sort of issue. Just make sure real quick. Oh, electrical connector looks the same. There's the air fitting. Yep, this is uh, this is pretty straightforward. All of these fasteners, though, are just uh, yeah, fairly rock solid on there. It took a bit of effort to get them out, so I'll just get this reattached to the bracket, put the cover back on, and then eat this whole thing right back up in the car. And hopefully, at that point, we're good to go. I don't think there's going to be any issue with these lines. They feel oh yeah, I forgot. There's a uh, a bolt here on a zip tie that holds 
it, it's one of the bolts that holds that cover on and it also holds this wiring to the pump itself so don't go pulling on it without undoing that or you could break these lines but these lines are still nice and pliable so I don't think that's going to be any sort of problem for us hopefully smooth sailing ahead Look at that, off in the distance. No, look, look closer. No, oh, just a little, just a little, just, just, just a little closer. Wow, it's a pump and it's installed and hooked up, sort of. It's real hard to see, but it's in there. And I have to say, GM, nice touch. They did the BMW thing and made the uh, exhaust hanger brackets unbolt from the car. So you don't have to mess around with these things. Love that, love, love, love that. I know the LeSabers didn't do that, and they're based off the same platform, which is kind of interesting. So, at this point, we need to drop this down on the ground and see if it can lift itself back up. It gets knocked down, but will it get up again? That is what we have to find out. Looking at the old pump here, uh, I'm not entirely sure... Okay, where did that go? I don't even know. But yeah, basically, these lines are complete junk. Those were definitely leaking, if nothing else. Because this, I could hear it cycling, but it just wasn't putting any air out. And I bet it's because these lines are all junk over here, so... Uh, and that solenoid mechanism looks pretty rough. Yeah, everything about this is bad. <laughs> so, uh, in the trash... Uh, in the trash with it, it is an obnoxiously heavy little thing. It really is heavy. <laughs> Well, there we go. You turn it on, it lifts it up, shuts off when it thinks it's at the right height, and then when you add more weight, hey, guess what? It lifts it back up again pretty quickly and honestly with a lot of force. Uh, now, all that's left to do is to drive it because I think that with there actually being air in the shocks now, it'll probably drive just a little bit better. And you can hear it going there. Wow, that thing is loud. That aftermarket one is really loud. I think the only thing left to do now is I need to hit I, I need to hit a car wash too. That's where I need to drive to is a car wash because that's really bad. It's all up in the trunk jam too. It needs to, that needs to be dealt with immediately and I need to call someone to get rid of that stupid tree because uh, I'm having none of that on my property anymore. That's freaking destroyed. You wanna see the uh, end to end burnout? Send it. Full shop? Okay, here we go. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Stop spinning! <laughs> oh! Lean back, full throttle. <laughs> well, that's a pretty dramatic difference. My gosh, the steering feel. It's amazing how much tightening up the rear end of these cars affects the steering. I it never really got that same sort of thing from like adding a rear sway bar to a Miata. The add a rear sway bar to one of these Buicks and like it changes the way it steers just like even off center, it's weird. But it rides so much better. This is the nicest riding one of these cars I've ever been in, LeSabre or Park Avenue. But also what the functional air shocks did for me is uh, this squats a lot less now when I take off. So hopefully I should be able to hook a little bit better because the shocks will now be resisting all that weight transfer away from the driven wheels. I mean, I can hammer it here. And yeah, it just kind of goes. It doesn't, it doesn't quite feel as fast because you're not getting thrown back in your seat by the whole car tilting back, but 
it does actually move off a little quicker because it's not spinning tires, which is, you know, kind of what you want. So let's go hit up a car wash so I can uh, repent for my sins keeping this car under that awful, awful tree. I'm sorry, Buick. If anyone can tell me what kind of tree this is so that I can make it my life's work to purge them all from existence. This thing dumped all that crap and it also just absolutely spawns endless saplings that I absolutely cannot keep up with. And uh, yeah, this tree's the bane of my existence. So I'm gonna get it removed, but I'm also curious what it is so I can curse its name and stop it from ever existing anywhere ever again. But at any rate, the Buick now has functioning air ride and it is a massive improvement to both how it drives and how it looks. And uh, it, it didn't even really cost me again. Thank you so much for sending me that. And thanks to all the rest of you for watching. I'll see you in the next, oh wow, the sun is really bright.